So I'm doing a video here to give an update on my family members that were in the house fire. Um, I, I just haven't felt like putting a video out, to be honest. Um, I haven't felt like doing a video. I put up a community post giving an update. I, I don't even know how many days ago it's been. But there has been a few changes and I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit about what happened and I heard my one of my dogs <laughs> crowl and I moved him <laughs> and he's wanting to sleep but uh, any anyways um, I'll, I'll just dig in and, and go through you know what happened where they're at now and what they're looking at and I, I will go ahead and, and say their names because when, when I did post um, that the, that my family was in a house fire, um, I had some people ask for their names. They said, you know, of course I didn't have to put out their names because anybody that, that has listened to me, they already know that I will never ever say my children's names even though they're adults. I just won't. But when they asked for um, my family members' names, they wanted to put them on a prayer list. So I went ahead and set, said their names. So I will. Um, my niece is Jen. We call her, you know, sometimes Jenny. Uh, my brother is, we call him Jimmy or Jim. My nephew, uh, I talked about him before in a video just, just a little bit because... He has severe autism. His name is uh, Paul. We call him Polly. And then my other nephew, who is married to my niece, he's still my nephew. Um, his name is Rob or Robbie. So it just makes it easier just to call him by name because I have two nephews. Uh, and if I just say nephew, nephew, you know, just makes it a lot easier just to call them by name. But anyways, um, this happened, it was in the wee hours, I'm talking like uh, right after, I'm thinking right after midnight, maybe 1230, something like that when I got the call, or one o'clock, something like that, I'm not sure. I was still awake. Um, I have, I, I, a lot of people already know, I, I've already put it out there too, that I do have trouble sleeping at night sometimes, um, so I do stay up late and I get up early in the morning. I I just have trouble sleeping. But um, I got the call from my other niece, who is my my niece Jen's sister, and she just told me there was a fire and they were taken to the hospital. Now we have several hospitals in my city and the hospital that they took them to is one of the bigger hospitals that's just down the road for me. It's like less than a mile. So I was able to get there uh, really quick. And um, she didn't say, I, I mean the phone call was real quick. She didn't say how bad it was. She, I, I don't think she knew anything on their condition she just you know got there herself she was already at the hospital she didn't tell me how bad the fire was nothing so you know i didn't really expect you don't, you don't expect the worst you know I, I i guess i didn't know what to expect but anyways um right when i got there my one sister, which is Jen's mother and Polly's mother, um, she got there with some other family members too. And we had, they made us go into a, a smaller room and the chaplain came in and then a nurse came in and they were informed they came in and informed us of um, their conditions now 
my brother, they informed us at that time, was not in the trauma unit area. He was in a different area because he was not injured. Uh, they, they were basically mon monitoring him. Um, he did not suffer. He, su he had a few burns, but uh, nothing major at all. Uh, they were checking him, of course, because, you know, he was just in a fire, you know, smoke inhalation and stuff like that. But he was, uh, I, I believe, he was, um, he got out the front door. He, he was in a different part of the house. Uh, the other three got out a different door. They were in a different part of the house. And my nephew, Rob, is he got all three of them out. And they said that um, they already had to intubate Rob and they had to intubate Polly. And that Jennifer, they didn't have to intubate her. But she, you know, she was, she was awake. She was alert. She had severe burns on her arms and her hands, but, um, she wanted to see people, but, you know, only two could go back at a time. And of course I was, you know, one, my, my sister and, and, you know, Jen's sister and, and stuff to go back first. Um, and anyways, um, they also said, you know, that we could go in and, and see Rob and Polly, same thing, uh, two people, uh, at a time. And of course we could go over and see my brother and it, it just kind of moved real quick though. Um, they did say that the burns were so severe um and you know with the smoke inhalation but basically with the burns now i i live in a big city and we do have a pretty good burn unit at one of our hospitals across town but they felt that they would be better off at the biggest city in my state which is two hours, about two hours away from me. And they have a, an excellent burn unit. And they wanted to get them there ASAP. Um, so they said that Jennifer was stable enough to go by ambulance. But Polly and Rob, they wanted to take them by uh, life flight. And so they wanted to take Rob first because he was the worst. He was, um, his condition was more critical and, um, they wanted to get them all three to the burn unit. So they had to wait for that chopper to land, pick him up. And then the other one would land and, and pick Polly up. So we were allowed to, I, I mean, it, it was like pretty quick. So we were allowed to go see all three and, and say, you know, to see them and, and, and say goodbye and then take them, you know, so they could take them to the burn unit. Um, my niece she uh, she was talking a, a, a little bit. Like I said, she, she could talk and stuff. She didn't have to be intubated. Uh, all three of them, their hair was just matted with, with black and there was like black all over their face. That That's what I seen. Um, I was kind of checking out before they, they they had my niece, her arms were all already wrapped up, but my nephew, Polly, they didn't have his legs wrapped up yet. And I did see the burns on his legs. Um, 
I'm no doctor, uh, so I can't tell you what degree of burns he had on his legs. To me, they look like they might be second degree. Um, and as of now, we are no. Uh, we were told that on his legs, they they were there was like a huge, huge blister, uh, really red. But I mean, he has other burns too, which I'll get into. So, anyways, they. Uh, they really did move fast. Um, great treatment at the hospital. Very kind. Um, my brother was released. Um, he is staying with my... Well, when he was released, he went to my other sister. And now he is going... He's going to be going to my brother and his wife. And I'll, I'll explain this in a minute. Um, well, I'll go ahead and explain it now. My brother that was in this fire, he is, there's, I've said this before, there's seven of us. I'm the youngest and the brother that was in this fire is the oldest. He is uh, at the retirement age and he is disabled. He is on dialysis. He has a lot of health issues. And um, my sister, she works a lot of hours, kind of like I do too. I, I work 12-hour uh, shifts. Um, not only that, and I know that I have said it over and over. Sometimes, you know, we overshare things here on YouTube, and I know I have. I've, I've put out some personal things about myself, but... People like to dig and they like to use things against you, whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I am going to share a little bit something here. Not only do I, I work outside of the home, but I have someone in my home that I also take care of. Now, I, I don't get paid to do it, but there is someone in my home that used to be total care. They're not now, but they have went through multiple, multiple surgeries. And I had to uh, help with the wound care. Um, I had to take them back and forth. Uh, they had a pick line in. Uh, several different times did they have a pick line in, and they had to go in twice a day for infusions. Now, I could have done the infusions at home, which would have been a lot easier. But um, with their insurance, which this makes no sense, never has to me, but with their insurance, the medicine would have cost an outrageous amount, even with their insurance, with this kind of antibiotic, uh, to do it at home. But going into the hospital, it wouldn't. It just, it makes no sense, but you know, that's how it works. That's our healthcare system. So I would have to uh, take them in. Um, I have to, you know, I cook. I, I show sometimes a lot of the cooking videos. I have to uh, cook for them because they're not able to do that. Uh, it, they can, and I'm saying they just because I'm trying to keep some privacy going on here. But it may, it's hard for them. It's hard for them uh, still to get around like they used to. So there's a lot of uh, rehab stuff going on. Um, and there might be some more surgeries. Uh, they were also just diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension. So I don't even know if I said this yet or not, um, but I have to take them to all their doctor appointments. I do the grocery shopping, uh, you know, doing all the outside work, but they are not total care now. Um, and yes, home health would come in, but only a couple of times a week and anything that home health could do, I could do for them. So, I mean, really, what was the point? The main, the main thing for home health, in my opinion, was just to get the wound care stuff. Uh, you know, the, uh, the tape and the stuff for the wound care. That's, <laughs> that was really all that I needed but um, anyways 
So uh, it makes it hard when you're already trying to take care of somebody and you're working, but moving along. My sister also works full time and her husband, um, he also has uh, issues, okay, where he is now, don't need, even need to go into that, but he's got his own health issues. So my brother, they decided that my brother, it, it would be more uh, beneficial for him to move in with my brother. My brother works full time, but his and his wife as well, but she's she's a nurse. So, um, and there is somebody there though at the house that th there's always somebody there with their schedules the way it is. I mean, my brother doesn't need 24-hour care, but he does need some help. Uh, so, anyways, he's taken care of. We're all working together to make sure things are good. Now, moving along from that, um, I know I'm losing my train of thought. I mean... It, this is just, it, it's been, it's been crazy. It really has. Um, right before this, this happened, like, I think two days before this happened, this was in the early, early hours of Saturday, Saturday, a week ago, Saturday. Um, I was talking about, I think in one of my videos about, uh, doing my living room and kitchen floor, finally. Um, finally got both of those done uh, putting the new flooring in and it kind of motivated me I did get it done uh, but it kind of motivated me to get some other projects done when I had time that I've been putting off for a long time well what I did was I was outside and I had help but I was doing a project outside that I wanted to get done and I was holding some lumber for someone to cut and I'm one of those girls that like to go around barefooted no matter what. And I know I shouldn't, uh, especially when you're doing some, quote, construction, right? But um, I had the lumber. I didn't have a, a good hold on it after the cut. <laughs> and it fell on my foot. No big deal, right? I mean, shit happens. I mean, it hurt like hell. But, um, it started bruising up pretty good and started swelling some. And, um, the next day it was, I was really, it was on the top of my foot. I was getting, uh, it, it was like bruising up in my toes too. And it was really, really hurting. I'm not one to bruise easily. So, um, I went to go get an x-ray. And I broke my other foot moons ago. And when I did that, I, I couldn't walk on my foot. So I I wasn't sure if I broke anything. I, I was guessing, you know, that I didn't. But I wanted to be on the safe side because it was it was hurting and it was bruising really good. So I, di I did go and get the x-ray. Thank God I didn't break anything. But... They did put me in a boot, not a walking boot like they did with my other foot, but a support boot. Um, and there's something funky going on with around my Achilles or with my Achilles. Not going to go into all that. Don't know if it's um, from that little incident or if it's pre-existing. I was supposed to go to um, follow up with ortho this week. I did not because of what's going on. So I, or last week, like I said, I got my days all mixed up. They said within a week. I, I haven't. So I will call ortho and follow up with ortho. Don't think it's going to be a, a big deal. They don't think it's going to be, you know, that it's a big deal at all. But they did say, uh, they put me in a support boot and they said to try to stay off of it as much as I could um, and, you know, let it heal, you know, the bruise and all, all that good jazz. 
sure all of you have hurt your foot before, right? And um, so what I did was I went ahead, I had a uh, vacation time, I had PTO time, I still had sick time. So I decided to take uh, last week off of work. And then with what happened, you know, with my family too, you know, I, I decided to take um, this week off. Hell, I might take more time off. I, I don't know. We'll just we'll just see how it goes. I needed my foot to uh, heal up. It, it's doing pretty good. The bruising is almost gone. Uh, it hurts a little bit when I uh, walk. I have to admit, I haven't been wearing that uh, boot all the time and I haven't been staying off of it like I should but I got stuff to do so um, anyways it is what it is so I was already taking the time off um, and then you know I get the call that you know this happened um, as far as I know, of course, investigation is going on. From what I was told, there was an installation of a gas dryer. Um, this wasn't just a house fire. There was an explosion, okay? There was a big explosion that was heard from, you know, a lot of people heard the explosion when it happened, so they were involved with an explosion and a fire so it, it was pretty um, nasty uh, they did lose a family pet and they lost the house uh, the house there's nothing to save it is completely gone not even an article of clothing um, they were lucky to get out with their lives I mean everything is gone they have um, their garage was not touched they had a detached garage so their vehicles um, were untouched so I mean that's a positive thing and they made it out uh, material items like I said everything is gone there is nothing nothing um, to be saved not even a clothing, uh, an, I'm sorry, an article of clothing, um, nothing. So, um, now for uh, the update of where we're at now. Um, my niece, Jen, she, uh, they have, well, with all three of them, they shaved their head. I told you that when I first got there, they, all of their hair was really matted with, like, black. It was just matted bad. Um, they had to shave all their hair. She had beautiful, like, blondish red hair, long hair. Um, and she kind of, I mean, she's in very good spirits. I, she talking about you know well, I'm gonna have to get a wig you know what color am I gonna get so um, she's in good spirits but um, their heads all, all three of them are bandaged because they did get burns on their face um, they're bandaged except their eyes and their mouth now from what I'm told None of them will have to have plastic surgery. The, the burns on their face are not severe. They will not have to get plastic surgery on their face. At least that's what I've been told. And I'm going to explain why I'm saying at least that's what I've been told. Okay. Um, now that might change a little bit with with my nephew Polly because he did have to have surgery on his forehead and I'll explain that in a minute um, my niece Jennifer has had to have three surgeries on her arms and her hands 
again, from what I'm told, she had the most severe burns. Um, I've seen some, uh, they're pretty bad. I, I mean, they have them wrapped up. Uh, the surgeries that, that they're having, she, she had three. And my nephew, Polly, has had one on his left hand. Uh, I, I guess they do things differently now than what they used to do, which I think is a good thing. I am not familiar with burn victims or how they do things now with burn victims. I know they used to do like a scrubbing and it would be very, very painful uh, for burn victims and changing, you know, the bandages out. Now, granted, I know that they have uh, my niece on some heavy duty painkillers um, or pain medicine for pain control. But um, now it, they take them back, at least they are my family, they take them back to surgery. Um, she has drainage tubes in her arms and she does absolutely have third degree burns on her arms and her hands. She has burns on her back, but I don't think they're severe. Uh, like I said, she had some on her face. I don't think they're severe. Uh, she has some on her feet and her legs, but I don't believe those are severe either. Her hands and arms are what they are worried about. Um, they did put feeding tubes in all three, even Jen, even though she's awake. Uh, she is eating. But as far as I know, they still have the feeding tube inserted, but she's eating, um, again, from what I'm told. Um, she is done with her surgeries for now. These are, are not plastic surgeries or skin grafts. These are totally different from right after, you know, you get burns and they have to go in and, and do their thing. Uh, kind of like what they would do with the scrubbing, I believe, okay? Taking, you know, layers off uh, with her. Her arms were swelling so bad they had to release pressure. Okay, I'm not going to get too graphic there. And I said, like I said, my nephew, Polly, uh, they had to go do the same thing with his left arm. Uh, when I did my last community post, I said... Uh, that he was still on a vent and my nephew Rob was still on a vent. Polly is now off the ventilator and he is eating, but he is on um, a very, uh, he's on pre, uh, very, you know, like baby food diet. Um, he's very confused, very agitated. Being autistic, he has no clue, you know, what happened, uh, what's going on. He's not seeing that many uh, familiar faces. I'll explain that in a minute, too. Um, so, as you can imagine, uh, for people that might have a special needs child, even though Polly is an adult, if you have, you know, a child that that might be you know severe autistic his routine has changed he might be you know uh, even though they're giving him pain management he's probably still got pain going on he's got his face still bandaged up he's got you know his hand bandaged up um, his legs are bandaged up they had to strap keep him strapped down they normally do strap you down when you have a, uh, when you're intubated so that when they, you know, uh, when you're coming out of sedation or if they lower your sedation that you don't try to pull your feeding or not your feeding tube. Well, that too, but you don't try to, uh, pull your tube out, but they had to keep him strapped because he was trying to pull, um, bandages and stuff up, you know, so they had no choice. So that's got to be really confusing too. But they are very uh, good with him. 
they are trying to keep everything calm with him and he did say he wanted to go home so he did say that but i'm sure that he is so confused right now on what happened where is everybody why am i laying here why and he's not happy with the food that they're giving him um so and, and you know why am i in pain why am i hurting uh why why am i stuck in bed you know i'm sure all this is running through his mind um but he's on he's on the right road to recovery that's the important thing he's off the vent he's he's doing good now with my nephew Rob he was supposed to go in Friday because Friday was my niece's last surgery on her hand so that we know of again not skin graft they're all looking at that in the future um, these were just to deal with the beginning stages of what they do to burn victims um, Rob was supposed to go in also and it would have been his first surgery but and then they were gonna try to wean him off of his vent but he spiked a fever and I do know with burn victims um, they really watch for you know number one shock and also infection so they're really keeping an eye on infection so they can't take him back to surgery uh, with his fever and they're not going to take him off the vent with him running the fever or with him running the fever either I'm sorry so I think they're 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 holding off they're just playing it by ear um, so he is the one that right now that they're still kind of worried about now what they're looking at uh, after this um, they've already had the plastic surgeons in they, they got a great team of doctors they had the pulmonologist they've had uh, the plastic surgeons already come in you know of course their their burn team unit and, and all that are there you know the doctors there in the burnt burn unit or whatever but they uh, after they're out of the woods and they are ready to leave the hospital the burn unit all three of them will have to go to rehab there is a rehab place that they're going to have to go to. This is what was explained to me. Um, they're not going to be able to come back to my city. They're going to have to stay uh, the almost two hours away in a unit that is close to the hospital. It's for their uh, patients that have been severely burned because they go back and forth to the rehab to the hospital um, so anyways that's where where they'll be released is to that rehab facility and then they will like I said go back and forth they are all looking at plastic surgery uh, skin grafts you know stuff like that um, we don't know how long they're going to be in the hospital. It, it could be, this could be a, a long process and, and rehab. And yes, they are, like I said, almost two hours away. Now, I myself have not been uh, up to the burn unit that they are at now. I was going to go with uh, two of my other sisters and my brother-in-law we were going to go Saturday, but that kind of changed. We've had some family drama. We have had uh, some bickering back and forth. And, and I have said in uh, one of my community posts, because this is going on in this uh, YouTube uh, drama circle or whatever, you know, because some people are saying, oh, you know, 
I, I'm this perfect person and I would never ever talk about my friends behind their back or you know I just don't do that I, I don't shit talk and I, I said it you know if you say you, you don't ever do that in my opinion you're lying in my opinion if you have never done that if you haven't had a bad day or or not feeling good or that person hasn't angered you doesn't mean that you don't care about them or you don't love them or you're not going to remain their friend right it just sometimes you say things that you might not mean or maybe you do mean it at the time doesn't mean you hate them well that kind of happened uh, throughout this whole ordeal and tragedies especially in family shouldn't make people bicker and fight it should bring you together but a lot of times it brings out the ugly in family right it does like when people pass away or something like this well there has been some bickering and, and I have to say I've shit talked <laughs> absolutely my sisters my other two sisters and I we have on the phone has said some pretty ugly things about some other people but we've also said it right to them so uh, family members we've said it about our own family members okay um, because there has been some things that have been going on I'm not gonna go into it but there's been things that have went on that shouldn't have or things that should be going on that isn't going on okay uh, in our opinion maybe not just in our opinion but maybe who knows but anyways there's been a lot of shit talk going on I'm not gonna lie and right now I'm not gonna apologize for it either but a lot of times we're not getting the right information to update we have a large family and and not only that but there's a large extended family too and we do a lot a lot of the updates on Facebook it does make it easier it absolutely does and people are really wanting updates and it's hard to give the correct update if you're given the wrong information and especially if you're you know you have some other people that absolutely don't know what the hell they're talking about and they're scaring the shit out of people and it's not the truth right don't put it out there if you don't know what you're talking about but you think you do well anyways that's about all I'm gonna say about that yes we sometimes we do say crappy things okay sometimes we are shitty people okay just saying um, we're, we're only human and we're gonna make mistakes we are we are trust me but anyways um, right now uh, we, we are gonna be making the trip but but right now there's other people that uh, want to go up to and you know like immediate immediate family and and you know uh, my nephew Rob he's got his family too his mother his father his sisters uh, that are going up and they have very very strict visitation times okay only one time during the day and there's only allowed, um, I believe it is two people, and they are very strict. They're they're in isolation. You have to gown up, um, and, and we don't want, we do not want people, you know, that might be sick or you know might have something going on, and chance given any of them an infection. That's that's the least thing that we want to happen and we know a lot of people want to go up and, and see them and right now they need rest they need healing um, and we don't need to be up there every day because there's a lot of us 
So we want to give everybody a chance, but you know, to go to go see them. But um, we also don't want to overwhelm them either. I mean, right now Rob's on a vent, so he doesn't know, but he's going to be, you know, hopefully off that vent soon. We don't want to overwhelm them either. So we're kind of all taking, you know, um, taking our turn and taking it slow, if that makes any sense. There's a lot of uncles and aunts and, and, and stuff like that, too. And we don't, like I said, we don't want anybody that's got any cooties uh, going up there because it is, you know, allergy season. Don't know if you got a cold or allergies. And where I'm at, you know, the, the last, I mean, the air quality is, is okay right now, but I'm telling you, I was hacking and coughing with my, my allergies going nuts. The Canadian fires, it, oh my goodness, it, it was hazy and, um, it smelled like burnt rubber for about two or three days. You still get get a little bit of that smell, but a lot of people are really having issues um, with, uh, you know, coughing and, and breathing and stuff like that. So you got to kind of try to, hey, you know, ask people, do you got a cold that's going up there or you just having allergies or... You know, maybe it's the air quality or whatever. You just got to kind of keep it safe because all three of them are still listed as critical. So it's very important that, um, you know, you can see them at another time. Their, their, their health is the most important. Healing is most important. Um, The last thing that I'm going to talk about here, because this already went on forever like my videos normally do, is I had people uh, make comments when I, uh, when I put this out that my family was in this tragedy. And some that made comments, I, I was shocked that they even made comments and said, you know, gave me well wishes and prayers for my family and I want to thank everybody that that uh, commented on that post and some asked you know about donations or uh, if I was going to do a fundraiser and I said this now I don't think I've put this out yet um, I did monetize my channel about two weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago. Um, I could have monetized my channel back in October and I just didn't do it. Um, I don't even know why I did it now, to be honest with you. I don't know, but I, I did. I, I figured why not. Um, I'll go ahead and monetize it. But um, as of right now, and, and I kind of... Uh, put a little note there of why as of right now I'm not uh, doing any type of fundraiser or, or anything like that um, for one as everybody can can see I do not have never have had any type of cash app PayPal or Venmo or anything like that on my channel ever and I'm not uh, saying anything against any creator that has that. I will probably at some point put that on my channel if um, if I go uh, put out, you know, better content or something. Maybe I will. I I just don't know. Um, at this point, none of us in my family need any type of funding to go visit, you know, to take that two hour trip to go see my, to see my family members. We do have that covered. Uh, you know, we will um, go together, you know, kind of carpool down there. We, we have that absolutely covered. I do appreciate that. Um, as for anything else, um, like I said, my, my niece and her husband lost everything, their home, 
um, they lost everything. My brother, we, uh, the Red Cross gave him a gift card, uh, for like $600 for clothing. Um, and he is on disability. So if there's anything that he needs, I mean, he lost, like I said, he, he lost everything. They lost everything. All of them did. But my, my niece and her husband, um, they both work. My niece has been at her job for almost 20 years. And they are only, my niece, I believe, is 40. I, I might be a little off, a couple of years off on, on um, the age here, okay? And her husband is about the same age. Um, they have been married for I believe almost 20 years, almost 20 years. Uh, they have no children. They have no kids. They, they chose not to, I think maybe they tried at some point, but they chose not to have kids. They, they take in other people's, and this might sound mean, and, and I'm not gonna get into it, other people's responsibilities. Um, and when I say that, my nephew, that is autistic he was living there okay that's my niece's brother um, and my brother basically helped raise my nephew who's autistic okay so that's who my nephew is used to he's used to him um, but like I said, my, my brother is got a lot of health issues, you know, dialysis three times a week. He's got a heart condition. He's diabetic. He's, he's got a lot of health issues. Um, and now everybody is in, you know, in limbo, in limbo. But my niece and her husband, they lived on their own. And then, you know, two years ago, they... Uh, took in my my brother who was living with my sister the mother of Jen and Polly and also took in Polly and they have a heart of gold they will do anything for anybody um, and like I said she's been at her job I believe I like I said for I don't even know if I said it. I know I said that they've been married for almost 20 years. I think she was about 20 when she got married. And she's been at the same job. Um, and we do know, we found out, um, that she does have short-term, long-term disability at her job. So, you know, that's going to help. Um, her husband has been at the same job, I think, for maybe about 15 years. Have no clue if he's got you know, any, any of that, you know, long-term or short-term disability at his job because his sister has kind of taken over, um, his, his care in, and everything that has to do with him. Excuse me. But back to the funds, um, this is going to be a long road or fundraisers. I should say this is going to be a long road. Um, Yes, they're eventually going to need, you know, household, you know, stuff, but don't know when. Um, this is, this is the beginning of everything, right? So as of right now, I'm not going to do any type of fundraiser. Um, we, we have my brother taken care of. And the other three right now, their main focus and what they need to worry about is healing and getting better. And then if I do something, how should I put this? Um, we, we've had a lot in this drama circle. It's been a big topic about grifting and dropping fundraisers for this and that. And yes, sometimes people do need help. Um, there's legit reasons to to do a fundraiser or, uh, you know, to ask for help. Absolutely. 
but there are some that are just absolutely ridiculous, right? Re that's my opinion. So it's left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths uh, when it comes to fundraisers. So if I do something, um, it's going to be it's going to be different. It's not going to be just asking somebody to donate for a cause. It's going to be getting something in return for your money, I guess. I would have to explain that at a later time because I know it makes no sense now, but there's just been such a bad taste in people's mouths about it. Um, so we'll just see how that goes later on down the road here. Um, you know, I have talked about uh, wanting to do, you know, before all this happened, um, as a matter of fact, when I hurt my foot and I knew I was going to be off work before this happened, I was going to put out some videos because, you know, it's got ugly in this drama circle. I was going to put out some videos, kind of rip it off like a Band-Aid, and because uh, I knew I had to stay off my foot or I was supposed to. I thought, what what better way? And then I, I was going to, you know, talk about the change that I wanted to do with my channel and and then do something fun, uh, you know, maybe once a week or something. I was going to talk about that and give back to the community, give something back, somewhere fun to come to. And then I, I was going to talk about how to, how to do that, something I've been wanting to do forever. I just a lot of things get put on the back burner when you get busy and you deal with real life stuff, then YouTube is not important, right? So anyways, um, I'll explain that more in the future if I decide to go that route. Um, there's, there's other things that, that, you know, the community in my real life, um, we can, we can do a, as a family and, and, and friends. Um, we have, you know, uh, people that are, you know, in, in, you know, that ride motorcycles that, that do a lot of benefits that, that are friends of mine, uh, if need be, um, they do different, uh, you know, like dinners and stuff, um, all, all sorts of different things. So right now that's kind of not, uh, something I, I, want to think about right now so I'm just gonna hold off on that so I'm gonna kind of end it on this I am since I am taking some time off work um, I will give some updates uh, here and there uh, on my family as they come in um, but I'm going to since I am taking uh, some time off work here I am gonna be doing some videos on what's going on in this drama circle. Like I said, pull it off like a band-aid. Some might not like what I might say and that's okay because a lot of it will be just my opinion. Some of it will be facts um, and you do not have to agree with me. Um, you can tell me I, I don't agree with you. I don't like what you said. I have no problem with that. But then after that, after I have, I put out, I'm gonna do like a little series of all these videos. Um, see, I, I'm, I'm slack and I'm really slack and I still haven't done my, uh, DV, uh, little series, which I, I might do. I might not do. I, that has to do with my own story. I just don't know. I mean, if it helps one person, then it would be worth it to do. But like I said, I want to make a change, uh, on the direction my channel goes because I don't want to talk about behaviors all the time. I kind of want to get away from it. Like I said, not saying I want to completely stop doing it because that's part of what I do, but not do it all the time because, you know, in my opinion, to me, it's getting old. Something new happens every day. But with that, I'm going to go and I hope everybody uh, has a great 4th of July. Uh, this is Monday. I don't know if it'll, this will get put out tonight or tomorrow, but um, everyone stay safe out there, and uh, we'll just see how everything goes, and uh, 
just stay safe.